Welcome back. Government leaders say using current technology like AI and machine learning is an important part of their strategies to modernize. Most agencies now have modernization strategies that include those tools. Vikram Thakur is technical director at Broadcom at the Billington Cybersecurity Summit. He says federal agencies with legacy tech shouldn't get too far ahead of themselves. It's always good to have your sights set on the long-term solution, but the reality is that we still have in the federal government a whole bunch of sprawling legacy disconnected computers and services um, which need to get addressed first. So we need to like deal with baseline security before we can start thinking about what the next generation is going to be. And from a technology perspective, you know, there, there, there are so many things that we could talk about. Like, you know, first, let's talk about AI. It's on the top of everybody's mind. Mm -hmm. That's fantastic. AI should totally be used as a part of the solution because um, we're at the stage where we can use so much of technology, automation, AI, in order to solve things that humans have been relied on for decades. And um, yeah, we should totally take advantage of all of that first. Yeah. What are the challenges that you're seeing though in implementing really cutting edge technologies like AI and so on in environments, in, in infrastructures, architectures, where there's really old stuff too that was never designed to even be online, let alone integrated with technologies like some agencies want to use? So I think the biggest issue is not with technology, but it is with the talent. Mm -hmm. Um, there's some fantastic talent in the federal government. Unfortunately, there's just not enough. We need to hire thousands, tens of thousands of more people who can actually help implement, architect, and actually bring these systems together, both from um, a security perspective, but also from an interoperability perspective, being able to share data between all these different agencies that exist within the federal government, um, uh, and that's, that's, in my opinion, the biggest hurdle that we're facing today. In the short-term perspective that you mentioned at the beginning of our conversation, is the gap just the people and having enough people to do what agencies need to do right now? Or is there some other gap that agencies should be filling before they really, it sounds like you think folks might be getting ahead of themselves to think about their long-term strategies and so, so on. So, um, a couple of thoughts on that subject. One we need to be able to establish some baseline security across all of government. And we're still, we're still working on that part. So to sort of see ourselves and aim for what is going to come in 10 years, um, you know, that might be a little unfair, but uh, it's still a good thing to do. But you still need to t tackle today's problems. Now, I'll talk about number two, which is from a technology perspective, where are we? Um, with the advent of AI, we need to start looking at two things. One, um, out-of-the-box solutions. We need to be able to bring in technologies to create this baseline protection or defense that we need, but it needs to just work to a certain degree. And the rest of it needs to be uh, moldable to what is actually normal in that environment. We cannot rely upon the old technology which said, one size will fit all, install this, and everything will be fine. No, now you need to start focusing on technology which can learn in your environment, understand what is normal, and then what is abnormal, and then start telling you about what is abnormal in that environment. I mean, a very simple example would be, let's look at any organization. The people working in the finance for that department will be completely different from people who are in HR or people who are actually customer facing. They're, the requirements of technologies of what is normal on their computers, whether they're using Word documents with macros which do certain things will be very different from what maybe somebody in the front office is doing. And technology needs to be adopted where it can learn that part and then tell the administrators, hey, you need to focus on these aspects. We have less than a minute left. That technology exists from what I hear. It's just a matter of getting it to the right places to address the right problems. Is that a fair read? Absolutely, yes. And we need good talent. We need a lot of good talent to be able to bring that, implement it in a way where um, it, it, you know, we, can, we can achieve that baseline security and a lot more. A quick final thought. Does that talent exist or is that something the government and industry needs to work together to grow? Uh, the talent exists but it is in short. We do not have enough of it. 
government and industry definitely need to put their heads together to figure out how can we incentivize it? How can we make it much more affordable? How can we bring people with these skills to the jobs that we actually require? You can read more about modernization on today's show page at fedgovtoday.com.